boy Genji to the game Convo says. So in today's video, it's another collaboration. Another collaboration. So today's video is with Brandon and Bruna. Make sure to check out their channel, I'll put a link in my bio. So yeah, I teamed up with these guys to make a couple videos. There'll be one video over on their channel and that's about American English and British English. And in my video, we're going to try and pronounce some words in Portuguese. Some of the words are uh, quite difficult, so um, it's going to be an interesting one to see how me and Brandon, you know, can handle these words. Uh, Bruna delivered all the words, of course, because she's a native Brazilian, so she knew some, some complicated words in Portuguese to give us. We're going to see how we how well we do with the pronunciation of some of these words. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Give a like and uh, let's, let's get on with this video. Let's do this. Okay guys, so we are here with Brandon and Bruna. Would you guys like to introduce yourself? I'm Brandon, I'm Americano. Tudo bem, gente? Oi gente, eu sou a Bruna e eu estou aqui muito animada porque eu vou tentar colocar o Jake e o Breno em problemas com as palavras em português. Será que eles vão pronunciar bem? Espero que sim. I'm 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 quite confident actually. I'm quite confident. <laughs> How it goes? Okay, so you guys have prepared some words for us to try and say in Portuguese, right? So um, should we start? E a primeira palavra é mão. How was mine? It was good, it was good. Okay. I'd say mo, like. Yes, um, all in a nasal sound, isn't it? So, like mo. Yeah. Ah, no, I don't like this word. It's confusing. Pragisa? No, we won't, we won't. It's good. <laughs> Pragisa. Sa. Pragisa. Pragisa. I think he said it better. Yeah. Really? It was better. Really? Yeah, it's difficult with this, with this, it's the same, same C that's in massa, right? Is massa. Yeah. Yeah, it always yeah. confuses me, that, that C. I, I just want to say like massa, but it's a whole different word. It's an even tastier word. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, what's the next word? Okay. Uh, among ya. Among ya. Among ya. Among ya. Manhã. Manhã. Yes, I always get this wrong. It does sound the nasal sound. Manhã. You have to like fake it till you make it. Almost. Yeah, it's really yeah, annoying this one. No matter how, like I I know this word very well, but yet I still can't say it properly. Manhã. 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 It takes me like three times to do it until I actually get it right. So every time I do it, I like say it three times, and then eventually I get it correct. Do you know what manhã means? Uh, tomorrow. Wow, para a próxima. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next one we have is a coração. 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 That was pretty good. Another nasal. Yeah. Yeah, the nasals. Nasal sounds, because I know it's hard. Does it sound right or does it sound like... Far enough. There, it's not right. It sounds right for a gringo. For a gringo. <laughs> for a gringo. <laughs> Damn it. Not quite there yet. Yeah, it's like my name, Bruna. It's how it's not in Portuguese, and Gringos, I would say Bruna. It, you can see it, hear it in a different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like my name, they just say Jack, which is a whole different name. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my name's my not Jack. <laughs> you sound very good for a Gringo. Uh, thanks, I guess. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Essa outra, vamos ver. Ah. These ones are very annoying for me as well. I, I literally... Vovo. Wow. It's good? I was impressed. Vo... 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 Yeah. Vo... Vo... It is like it sounds. Yeah. Vo... Vo... So is that correct? Like, is that correct? Vo... Vo... Yeah. yeah. Okay. And obviously the next one is the the opposite, which is vovo. No, I knew I was gonna get wrong, one wrong. <laughs> you have the same word. You have said vovo. <laughs> no, I said like vovo or vovo. But how do you say the second one? Oh. Vovo. Vovo. Yeah, that was good. They're saying together in the same sentence. Say vovo and vovo. 
Vovó, vo, ah, vovó, vovó. Vovó. I, felt, I just said it really quick so you couldn't hear. You know? That's the trick. So exactly, yeah. Hear you. <laughs> Did that again? Cabalera. That's it. Cabalera. 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 It's difficult, this one. For a gringo. It's a difficult, it's a bit of a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. lingua. <laughs> ah, I don't like this one. I hate the, the R in Portuguese, it's very difficult. Basically, Y sound. Yeah. Ho, ho, ro, ho, ro, rosso. No. Yeah. Ho, 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 rosso. Ho, ho, rosso. <laughs> Again. Ah. Brandon, do you want to try? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quick. Mario Rosso. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this one is so difficult. Okay, one more time, both, and I would say. Ho, I feel like I just keep saying it the same way. Horo, no. Ho, ho. The like, H is silent, I think. Two R's is silent, isn't it? So it's like, ho, ho. No, oh, oh, oh the H is silent. Oh, oh, ho, rosso. Oh, ho, rosso. Yeah, almost. Oh, ho, rosso. Oh, ho, Oh, 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 yes. Yeah. Proud of myself for that one. It's getting better. Yes. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does it actually mean, by the way? Horrible. Ah. Do you not have Holly Hollyville? Hollyville as well. Hollyville. So what's the thing? Yeah. It's not the same as in the situation that you're using the sentence and you say your hero or horrible. Is one worse than the other? Like one's more like an emphasis of how bad it is? No, no, it's about the same. It's more like the conjugation because in Portuguese they have a lot of conjugation. Yeah. And some sentences you can use horrible, you just say it's horrible. It's horrible. I'm just going to stick to horrible. It's easier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say Publico. Say that again, both? Publico is the first one. And no. No. The first one is different. Publico? No. He's saying the second one first. <laughs> it's a trick. Jake, try you. This is very confusing, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Publico? No. no. You said the second one. You said, you said oh, the really? English what, with an O at the end. Exactly. Like That's what I thought I'd do. <laughs> I thought by, by default, I'm just going to try and say it. I'll just say it in English. <laughs> try one more time and I, I would say that. This is so confusing because the U with the accent is... I don't know how that one should sound. It's like pub, like right? Pub, like going to a pub. Publico. Publico. Yeah, but Publico. it's for the second one with the accent. Yeah. Okay, so the second one's like Publico. 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 Yeah. Publico. Right. Publico. The first one is Publico, and the second one is Publico. Ah, that sounds it's the same. Publico, yeah. <laughs> I hope the words get easier, not harder. Yeah. <laughs> one more time, say the words. Uh, Publico is like, I will publish it. Uh -huh. And Publico is like a, a public. Publico and Publico. Yeah. Okay. Publico. Publico. Okay, it's confusing. Alright, next one before she asks us to say it again. Yeah, well, <laughs> is this like a trava lingua, this next one? Yeah, yeah this next one is so good. Try okay. to say the whole sentence. Okay. Okay. Por que causa você bota e a bota você causa? Yeah, did you get it? What it means? No. <laughs> <laughs> but he can read it. Yeah, yeah. try your first. What does that mean? It's like, yeah, it makes sense in Portuguese because the word bota is like a boot and calça is pants. So it's like why you put wear the boots and the pants you wear. In English will be the same one, but in Portuguese it's like you just switch the words and means different things. Porque a bota você calça e a calça você bota. Okay, <laughs> still confused. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Maçã. Maçã. 
you say you're right now, but you always say you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I do the same. I, I'm going to say it how I would normally say it. I would just say masa. So I'm not going to pass the first. Yeah, so it's a, it's a completely different word, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah. masa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? Masa. Yeah, good. Masa. <laughs> you got it. Okay. I, I think, like, this next one I'm confident with. <laughs> so I'm going to go for it. Liquidificador. Yes, I have, yes. <laughs> You've been studying, haven't you? Yes, I, I know this one. I know this one. Liquidificador. No. Liquidificador. 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 When you go to Brazil, you need to know this word. Because oh. you gotta order that you try it. Yes, I've, I've, already, I've already tried it, so... I'm familiar with it. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love caipirinha. Caipirinha. Yes. Mm. Easy. Easy. Uh, it's a it's a it's a word. One of my first Portuguese words I learned actually. I think it's everyone's first. <laughs> if you get this next one, I will give you a hundred in your Portuguese. <sighs> yeah. I think that I, I could probably say that's not gonna happen. <laughs> you don't have to worry. Yeah. That's a lot of. That, that's one whole word. <laughs> yeah. No more tra microscopic cova luca no no chico. I'm just gonna put. I'll just put the video and fast forward and see if it sounds good. <laughs> we have a little game that we do. Every time you say the syllable wrong. She's going to go, so that way you know where to start over. Yeah, from. every time that I do this, you need to start the words again. Okay, I mean, I hope you got all evening, because <laughs> it's going to take a while. It's only 12 here, so we're, we're on your <laughs> All afternoon. So I'm going to try one more time, and then I think I'm going to have to pass it over to you, Brandon. But let me try. Get your clapper board ready. <laughs> yes. No more. So it's wrong already? Yes. The P sounds. You say P. Do you, do you pronounce the P? Yeah, you pronounce the P. Pinumo. Pinumo. Okay, no clap, that's good. Pinumo. <laughs> Pinumo. Pinumo. Tra microscopis. Pis. Ah. Where did it go wrong? Uh, the mutra pneumutra. Pneumotra. Pneumotra. Ah, pneumotra. Pneumotra. Micro. Scopisco. Silico. No. Pneumotra, microscopico, vulcano, paniotico. Okay, Brandon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Pino Mola Microscopy Silicon. I'm just looking for like the small words that I know. Yeah. And hope that it sounds right. Yeah. Then I try one time? Yeah. Pino Mola Microscopy Microscopy. Microscopy. Micro, micro, scope, silico, no, on, dios, No. Both we failed. Got it wrong. We failed. Yeah, that word was practically impossible. I, I, I don't even know the meaning of that word. I, I, it's just a ridiculous word. I mean, I've got no chance. Does anyone know how to say that word? <laughs> It's, it's not a normal word. Maybe I can make another video trying to pronounce some words. Yeah, there's always certain words in, in Portuguese that are slightly more difficult for us to say as non-native speakers, especially with that, that little nasal sound, that difficult nasal sound. Um, so post in the comments any other difficult words in Portuguese and of course go and check out Brandon and Bruna's channel. Uh, there'll be a video of us talking about British 
English and American English and comparing the two different types of words we use because some words in American English I have never heard of. I don't even know where they get them from. Um, so yeah, make sure you go and check that out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up and uh, follow me on Instagram if you want as well. It's Falicom Jake. I'll put the link down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ati mais, ati logo. Ciao.